Hello guys and welcome to a new video. So today's video is going to be a quick and easy tutorial for people who want to start playing Pixels Farmland but have no idea where to start. So Pixels Farmland is an NFT game, uh, an, a Web3 game, which means that every action that you perform or do will be recorded on the blockchain. So in order to start playing the game, the first thing that you need is an Ethereum wallet. Most people use MetaMask for their Ethereum wallet. This is probably because it has an easy to use interface, which makes it easy for beginners to well start trading Ethereum or NFT. So just Google MetaMask and you'll see this website, metamask.io. So make sure this is the website link. Click on the link and it will bring you to their website. So essentially what you need to do is download their MetaMask extension. So depending on what you're using, personally I'm using Chrome. So I'm just going to install MetaMask for Chrome. Follow the steps. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward and simple. Um, basically add the extension to your Chrome. MetaMask will get you to follow a set of instructions to set up your wallet, create a password, and you should be done. So now that you've set up your MetaMask wallet, the first thing I would do is to give Pixels a follow on Twitter. They update a lot of new quests or new updates on their Twitter page, so it will be very essential for you to follow them on Twitter so you can keep up to date with what's going on in the game. Join the official Discord as well. The link can be found in their Twitter bio. So the Discord is really useful for engaging with other players, asking questions, and it's just a fun community to be a part of. Apart from following their official Twitter, another thing you can do is follow me on Twitter. Haha. <laughs> Um, my Twitter handle is MikiPasta, so you can follow me. I usually post updates on new videos for quests or um, other game strategies on my Twitter. You can also follow some other notable Pixels content creators like KRW3 as well as maybe Hath, who also post videos on Pixels tutorials and strategies. Apart from Twitter, please, please, please help to subscribe and turn on notifications for my channel. This will greatly help me grow my channel such that I can bring you guys better content in the future. So back to the game. The link to the game is right here. So you can just click on it. And the link will bring you to the Pixels page. So basically just click start playing. Now that you're here, just click on the MetaMask icon. So MetaMask will prompt you to just sign into the game using your new wallet and you should end up on this page. So this is the design your avatar page. Basically, just choose what you want your character to look like. For me, I'm brown, so I'm just going to choose a brown girl. Uh, for name, I'm just going to put Michaela Tess. Or Michaela Demo because my real name in the game is Michaela so I'm just gonna choose some cute eyes mm. cute hair black and you know, black hair a smile because I think more than a frown I smile more and a cute outfit I'm just gonna choose like a farmer's outfit like this and enter the game so basically worlds are like servers you can see in this bar here basically tells you the traffic in the server so the higher the percentage of the bar the more players are in that specific server. So for me, I don't really care which server I go to. Um, I guess as a rule of thumb, the less people on the server, the better it will perform, maybe less laggy. Um, but if you want to meet friends in specific worlds, then you do have to coordinate which world you go into. So I'm just going to click one. And here I am. 
So just some quick controls and uh, getting familiar with the interface of the game. So at the top right hand corner, you can see that you have your energy bar as well as your berry bar. So berry is actually the currency that you use uh, in the game to purchase items or um, the currency that you receive when you sell items. So berry is essentially your dollar and in the game, I guess one important thing would be to maximize the amount of berry that you have such that it allows you to buy uh, amazing items for your farm as well as the tools that you need to complete tasks or level up in the game. Apart from berry, you have your energy. So the maximum energy is 1000. Uh, you will probably see that um, when you first start the game, so you're, you will have full energy. And as you complete tasks in the game, uh, certain tasks or actually all tasks do require energy so you will slowly see that your energy bar will go down as you do more things so another challenge in the game would be balancing the amount of energy that you have and the things that you want to do in the game so you won't always be able to do everything that you want to do at a certain period of time it will require you to take rest um, as well as optimize your energy strategy so I have an energy strategy video um, that I've uploaded prior. I will link it in the description below. So do check it out if you want to find out how to maximize the amount of energy that you have in the game. Other buttons would be this blue button here. So clicking on this blue button, as you can see, it says back to Terra Villa. So Terra Villa is where we are now. It's the center of the map. So some key landmarks that you need to know in Terra Villa, uh, the first would be the Bucks Galore General Store. So Bucks Galore General Store is where you can buy and sell um, all your items such that you can make berry. You can sell things like the crops you've harvested um, or um, other collectible items that you will collect throughout the game like sell some eggs, green bowl, um, and basically anything that you make or acquire in the game. Another important landmark is the post office. So the post office is basically south of um, the main fountain and bucks general store. So just walk down here and you will reach the post office. Not many people know, but you can actually store items in the post office in case you run out of space in your inventory. So as you can see, your inventory only has one page uh, and a limited number of items that you can actually store. So there will be a point in the game where you run out of space. So come to the post office and you will see this chest here. I have stored some items here as well. So um, if you want to bring items in your backpack, just drag and drop. And if you want to store the items in the post office, you can do the same. So just drag and drop into um, the box. So another very important part of the map is actually the Innovation Center, which is right next to the post office. So it's called Ministry of Innovation. You will basically come here um, with regards to downloading certain blueprints um, blueprints meaning there, there will be times in the game where you will want to create things like a mine or woodworking benches this is more applicable for people who own land because if you do not own land you will not have a place to actually put these things that you make so this is only applicable for our land owners um, since i'm guessing most of you are not um, you will not really have much use for uh, the blueprints unless you want to make them and then sell the items on um, P2P trading which is actually open now so if you want to make money via P2P trading uh, a good way to do that would be actually to acquire the blueprints and kits for mines or woodworking benches and then sell them on the P2P marketplace other than that, you have the Infinity Portal, which is super important. Uh, I link a video down in the description below. Infinity Portals are important to teleport to certain farms uh, that you would like to use to play the game. Yeah, so I think these are the main three landmarks uh, within the center of Terra Villa. So 
Let's just go back to talking about controls within the game. The next button would be this purple button here. So this purple button actually helps you access land. So if you're not a land owner, uh, you will not see anything un under this tab, my land. Um, you will be able to bookmark other farms, uh, which I do have a video on as well. So if you do not have your own land, just head on over to the Pixels Discord. There's a channel titled Come Farm With Me. So in this channel, you will be able to find other landowners promoting their own farms. So they will actually write in a detailed description about what equipment their farm has. So bookmark these specific farm numbers and you'll be able to play using these people's land. You can check out the video in the description to find out how to bookmark lands easily. Other important controls in the game are the settings. So settings just helps you to adjust audio. Um, you can just use the slider as you wish. For the green button, it basically zooms out. It allows you to see exactly where you are. And for other important controls, you have your quest board. So when you click on your quest board, it will show you which quests you have completed and if you have some in progress. Another important button is the skill button. So this shows you your skill level when it comes to all the different skills available in the game. This button actually just helps you to look at players who are nearby. So right now there are 10 players here. If you click on a player, you will be able to trade items with a specific player or report the player. This allows you to access the Pixel's Twitter and this allows you to exit the game. So when you start the game, uh, as you can see, you end up on this mini part of land. This is Barney's land. As you arrive here, don't feel intimidated, just click on Barney. Yeah, so the first thing you do is click on Barney. Okay, so what Barney is trying to do is teach you how to farm. So farming is the most basic skill in Pixel's farmland because it is a farming game. So what he did is give, he has given you a single potberry seed and is basically trying to teach you how to plant a seed in the soil. So just plant and then click on Barney again. So now what he's teaching you is that after you plant the seed, you basically have to water it. So click on the watering can, plant the seed, I mean water the seed and click on bunny again. So now he's giving you fertilizer. Fertilizer essentially helps your crop to grow instantly. So click on the fertilizer and fertilize your crop. And now your potberry seed has been planted. As you can see, it says it's ready to shear. So I'll click on Bunny again and he'll give you shears which allows you to cut the crop. So now in your inventory you can see you have a pot berry that you've harvested, a shear and a watering can. He's starting to eat the pot berry for energy so you can see our energy has increased. So just follow Bunny's pump and that will lead you to the end of the bunny quest. Okay, so basically the first quest in Pixels. Wait, let me turn up the music. Okay, so basically the first quest in Pixels is just to get you started in the game. Bunny gives you a free watering can, shears, and some speed. So this allows you to start leveling up in terms of your farming skill. But first, he does ask you to speak to Ranger Dale, so do that. Okay, so when you speak to Ranger Dale, he basically tells you there's a new quest. So every single quest as you start the game is just going to set you up for success in the game. So for this next quest, the Bucks Galore, um, just basically read the description and follow exactly what the game tells you to do. Here they ask you to talk to Hazel in Bucks Galore. So I shared 
in the earlier part of the video where to find the Bucks Galore General Store. So head on over there to basically begin your quest. Okay, so now that you've spoken to Hazel, you can actually see that a new quest has opened up. So, Xing for help is a new quest. I actually have um, exact instructions on how to complete all these quests in another video that I will link in the description. But basically, um, you just have to follow the quest as you start the game and this will help you learn how to gain experience in a different industry. So that's about it for my guide um, as an introduction to the game. I hope you guys thought it was clear and just to recap on that, some main points with regards to how to start the game. So the first would be that you need an Ethereum wallet to play Pixels Farmland. So as I showed you in the video, create your MetaMask wallet and you don't need Ethereum in your wallet to have access to the game. But if you would like to purchase land or you would like to trade NFTs on your own, then of course feel free to add ETH into your wallet. But if you do, always be aware of scams or safety regulations when it comes to owning a MetaMask wallet or trading crypto. So just be sure or be careful when it comes to that part of playing the game. Next would be to use as much resources as you can um, there are lots of pixels of um, pixels related resources, whether it's on Twitter or the Pixels Discord. So be sure to follow the relevant channels, join the Pixels Discord, and feel free to ask questions in the Discord if you feel lost or you're not sure on um, what exactly you need to do. There are lots of helpful players and admins in the Discord. I will link all my how-to videos in the description below. So I think in the video, I mainly went through how to get started in the game um, as well as the fact that actually when you're starting the game, um, the creators did a great job in setting up quests that allow you to learn more about the different industries and how to plant seeds, farm, there will be quests on how to chop wood, cooking uh, and all that jazz. So just follow the quests and I'm pretty confident that you will slowly build yourself up to becoming a more experienced player. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!